We all know that currency movements may reduce profit margins when foreign income is translated back to your reporting currency. You can remove this risk and lock in commercial margins by using forward FX. Now, the banks don't have a crystal ball, so how do they know what the FX rate will be at a future date? It's based off the interest rates of the two currencies involved. Now, if you look at the textbooks, they will show you a formula that looks a bit like this. So here we've got the spot FX rate and the interest rates of the two currencies. The spot FX rate is multiplied up by the interest rates of these two currencies. Now, note that the interest rates may use different day count conventions such as actual 365 or actual 360. In this case, we can see that one euro today gets you $10584. In a year's time, it should get us $1.0790. Well, there is an easier way to look at this, and that's simply to think about the cash. Imagine if I physically gave you a euro. There are two things you can do with it. First, you can put it on deposit in the bank and earn a whopping minus 11 basis points. So you actually end up with less than a euro in a year's time. Or you can walk down to the local money changer and swap it into dollars at today's FX rate of 105.84. You can earn 1.81% in dollars, so your money will have grown to $1.0778 after a year. Divide this number of dollars by the euros you would have earned, and you get a euro dollar FX rate of 10790. In other words, at this rate, it doesn't matter what you do, whether you keep your money in euros, or swap it to dollars, run it in dollars, and swap it back to euros at this FX rate, you're going to end up with the same cash. We call this an implied forward FX rate because all of the future numbers are implied by the interest rates involved. So if the dollar interest rate had been different, the future dollar amount would have been different, so obviously the forward FX rate would have been different. Now, take a look at the spot and forward FX rates. At the start of the year, one euro gets you 1.0584, and in a year's time, it gets you more. It gets you 1.0790. So the euro has strengthened by the interest differential, in this case about 2%. So the euro has got stronger, and the rule of thumb is that the currency with the lower interest rate will give you the stronger forward FX rate. There's no way you should get a higher interest rate and a stronger forward FX rate. If you have this, then sell everything you've got and get a free lunch.